Hey guys, so this is the one day reading for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, August 24th, 2021. Overall behavior of the S&P uh, throughout the day is going to be the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is like a big move higher and then roughly an equal move lower like it's big it's sudden and then there's another one coming back down like they it retraces where it went there's a lot of correlation to that ace of wands which says to me there's probably quite a bit of volatility on this day we start off the day with the chariot in the pre-market and the chariot speaks to sideways bullish rotation being that it's correlated to the ace of wands it's likely that there's a relatively good move higher and then around the open we have a decline back down which probably like well the decline around the uh, in the first half hour is a failed test to reach through resistance and or a breakdown through key support levels the queen of discs at the open it's like a return to some sort of level or some sort of issue from the past. Interesting. The high card is the Valor card, and that in the high position is a pretty bullish card. We'll be bumping up along a resistance level, possibly break through it and bump up against another one sort of deal. But we're going to stay near resistance levels when we're around the high. And then the low is also another Wands card, so another big move higher off of the low. But the Strength card, it says that there's like some sort of decline. Around the low, there's like a sharp kind of decline. And then right off the low, there's a big move higher. It's a sideways S between support and a resistance level with a decline so it starts deep with a decline and then it turns and, and it has a rally and then it declines again whether or not it breaks through the support level at the end of the time frame of the card has a lot to do with what's next and in this case we have a sharp decline to a low being the next card the debacle card i haven't seen the debacle card in a while so the debacle card inundated with choices there's a breakdown through a support level after testing resistance twice, bounces along the next support level before breaking down through multiple support levels. So that's how we end up at the low. So we have bullish rotation with a, a move higher in the pre-market. Around the open, we have a reversal and we revisit some sort of issue or some sort of significant price level as we move lower. And that's after testing and failing to breach resistance level in the first half hour of trading that's a failed to breach resistance and or a decline through support levels and then after that we have a move to a support level between the hour of 10 and 11 ish we have a move to a support level and from that support level we have a bounce back up to reach a resistance level before turning around again and breaching the aforementioned support level Breaking through that support level between the hour of roughly 11 and 12 p.m. is going to take us through multiple support levels to reach the low for the day. And it's a breakdown through a support level after testing resistance twice, bounces along the next support level before breaking down through multiple support levels. That's what the debacle card is. And around the low, we also have an opportunity here to open a long position. We have a low midday between 12 and 1 p.m. I'm advised it's a good opportunity for me to open some long positions, some bullish positions. This is another wild thing. So we had one wild one here. So we have an up and a down between the pre market and 10 a.m. And then we have another up and a down between roughly 10 and let's say 11.30 a.m. Then we have another big move higher and that's followed by a decline back down to where it came from. Another sharp move higher, sharp move lower. That for sure will reach a resistance level that it'll bounce along. Then again, we have another move higher followed by an equally strong move lower in the last two hours of trading. There's a day's high between the hours of roughly 2 and 3 p.m. And that may be based on some sort of economic leader on the news or something to do with a leader's decision with economics. That'll move us into the last hour. High move followed by another move lower. It looks like we have another high move in the last hour of trading followed by a really sharp move lower into the close for the day. Oof, this is a wild reading, guys. Wild, wild. But overall, it's going to be a bullish day. The low for the day will be between 12.45 and 1 p.m.-ish, roughly. And then off of that low, there's going to be a big move higher. Another decline that's pretty strong as well. Then another big move higher based on the economic leader being, you know, some sort of decision involving economics and a male leader. 
and that's going to send us higher, followed by another decline. It looks like another move higher in the last hour of trading, followed by another decline right into the close. And that decline into the close is going to be pretty strong. It may be a new low for the day. It may be just a significant low, but it's really, it's a strong low. It goes through multiple support levels. And the indolence card speaks of falling off of a high through multiple support levels. And the high level that that indolence card is you know, falling from will not be revisited within the time frame of the reading. We won't see that high again after that, the new high that's made around 2 to 3 p.m. Sneak peek for tomorrow, profit taking off of a high.